Hey guys, Ollie here from Your Guitar Academy, and I'm going to show you how to do this fun Joe Satriani style reverse dive bomb squeal thing. So enjoy! Perfect. So, the first thing to talk about here is the tone that I'm using. If you have a more distorted tone, it just picks up on these things much more easily. It just makes it way easier to do. Um, so I'm going through uh, our Kemper, but into a sort of a diesel amp style. So really, really high gain. Um, if you play with that sort of gain, you might just start to hear these kind of pinch harmonics come out anyway. Um, but that's a good starting point. I'm also on my humbucker bridge pickup, um, which again, it just allows you to pick up more of the harmonics as they come through. Uh, and that's it for the tone really. <clears throat> so the next bit then is, is the technique. So before we look at the, the, the whammy bar thing that Satch does, um, let's just look at getting that pinched harmonic first. So if you're new to pinched harmonics, what you're doing is you're playing a note, so any note, but then you're also allowing your thumb just to touch the string as you pick through it as well. So you get this whole sound. And, and it, what, it, what that does is it forces the string to vibrate in a different way that gives you a much higher note. Um, you can, there are, there are very specific points on the string where you can do it. So it wouldn't work everywhere. Just hear that, it doesn't work. So you've got to get it in just the right place. Um, one thing you can try is you can just pick lots of notes and run your, don't fret, but just gently just run your finger up the string. You can hear all these notes ring out. There's one, uh, so 24th fret, that's, a, that's an obvious one. But you can hear more. And, and what we're doing is, it, instead of using this finger to do it, uh, for a pinch harmonic, you're substituting that finger with the thumb and it just forces the string to vibrate in a different way. You can still do it as part of a normal pick stroke, so you don't have to sort of hold your thumb on the string. In fact, that will probably mute the string. You just do it as you pick through the string and away, and just let your thumb very, very lightly just touch the string. Okay, so that's the general technique. It does work on, it works on all the strings, but the higher, the thinner the strings get, the, the harder it is to get these to ring out. Um, the one we're doing is this, uh, it's on the G string. There. Um, so for me, I kind of look at it as, as halfway between these two pickups, somewhere around there. And here you get slightly different ones, just from moving very slightly. Okay, and then what we're doing here to get this cool um, reverse dive bomb thing is, because uh, it's on an open string, I can use my left hand, instead of fretting, I'm just dipping the bar all the way down. Uh, trying to hit the, uh, the pinch harmonic when the string is really slack. And then as I get it, I can raise the bar. So, um, I mean, that's one of very many ways to do this. Um, this is just a particularly cool one that I thought we'd show you. Um, one other thing to mention here is that this guitar has a, lock, a double locking trem, so Floyd Rose style. Um, that helps because you can really get, you can get the bar so low that the strings go completely slack and then it should come back up into tune. If you've got a normal, uh, flow, uh, sorry, a normal bridge, something like a, on a Strat, uh, you can still give it a go, but you might not be able to get the strings quite as slack um, and it might not return to pitch in quite the same way, but uh, it's still worth trying out. So in terms of using this uh, when you're jamming, I mean, it's gonna be, there'll be some really niche moments when you could maybe do it. It, it works really well in metal, uh, and Joe Satriani uses it. Um, it's quite difficult uh, to fit into sort of a, a blues jam or something like that. You might get some funny looks if you try something like this. But, um, but you know, it could be another trick that you've got and it's a really fun thing to play. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to get access to the interactive tab for this lick, join our YJ Club. Plus, if your guitar learning is moving slower than you like or you're struggling for focus, our YJ Club is exactly what you need. With custom learning pathways, an awesome website, progress tracking and access to our community of students and mentors, you have everything you need to achieve your guitar goals. We'll see you there.